warning. This podcast explores graphic and disturbing stories and includes some strong language. It therefore may not be suitable for our young listeners or other folks who may find it disturbing. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. Welcome Welcome to our podcast. Here we're going to show you can share advice, tips, and know-how to bring the best out of all of us. Learning is a joint experience, and through our series of interviews, we can all learn more and achieve even greater things. Here is this week's host. go welcome to dirty jokers with max that's me trish dirk dr jed and we thank you for all the listeners out there who have been messaging us thank you how you guys doing real good doing terrific doing fantastic guys i hope everybody's good tonight wonderbar can everybody hear me okay oh yeah oh Oh, yeah oh yeah you guys see that like if i asked you a nasty question (laughs) 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, happy Monday, you guys. You guys sound like uh, everybody's lost for words tonight. Or is everybody's mouth full? Seems like everybody's mouth is full. <laughs> Fuck. Is, you guys playing a trick on me, dicks? No, no we're not, you idiot. You're fucking lying. You guys are all quiet and shit, like a pack of dicks. Watch it. You guys are she called you an idiot. Hey, you guys are trying to see how many cuss words I can say in just a few minutes, huh? Oh, Trish, you're going to get it. Ew. Ooh. <laughs> Shut up. I wish you two would bang already. Shut up. You're not banging. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know that was banging. Just imagine him naked, slobbering over you, Trish. Mm. Oh, fuck. Ew. You're I mean, so no, nasty. He said ew about himself. I was joking. You're I mean, so nasty. Mm, delicious. Wow. How nasty would you get with Trish, Dr. J? Real nasty. So oh. funny, guys. You're gross. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, that flew south. No, I feel sick. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what's going on, Mac? Well, I get my car back tomorrow. That's a plus. Oh, yeah. What, what happened? I predict I will, I'll predict I'll be driving it for about three more weeks before it breaks down again, but he keeps, hey. having, he keeps having sex in it and fucking <laughs> the suspension. Last time he jizzled in, in the, the shocks. Last time he jizzled in the in the gas tank and messed up the motor, so they had to replace that. Um, That's true. Yeah, you're not supposed to. He did. He put his well, his dangling in the gas. You sure it wasn't that candy cane? Oh no, it was me. As Trish said it was good for my skin and good for the tank of the vehicle Jeez, there. So. So you just you just hump your gas intake? He sure did. Wow. That is not right. That's wrong. So um, that's about it. I, I on my I, there's not a lot I've been doing. I because yesterday was my Friday. I'm really curious what Dirk's been up to. I have to say something dick. about uh, I listened to the last show in the first oh, yeah. half hour. The first half yeah. hour of the last show was like classic. This show it was so good. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was. Uh-oh. When we were talking about the guy uh, who died when he was uh, having oral with his girlfriend. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's a shame someone had to die for that, but uh, still, it was great. It was like, you know, classic. And didn't the show turn to some biblical thing? I'm sorry, Jen. I I don't know if it's my end, but I cannot hear you. I said, didn't the show turn to something biblical? That's when you came back. It became difficult. No, biblical, Bible, Bible time. Biblical? Yeah. You think? Were they able to get that. that thing out of your ass, though, Dr. Jed? What thing? When you went to the hospital? Uh, that wasn't me. 
I think it was. He keeps shoving things up his butt thinking it'll fulfill him. So, Trish, have you got all your Christmas shopping done? I'm almost done. Got a few more things to do and I'll be all complete. How about you guys? Nope. Who would you even shop for, Dr. Jed? Yeah, who? Okay. My niece and nephews and my mom, and my oh. uncle, my brother and sister. Uh, probably buy something for Trish and Max and Derek. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I was gonna yeah. tell you, uh, Woody Bush already gave you your mom a present a few days ago. So that was that was nice of him. He got it to her early. He gave it to her that. good. <laughs> the gift, of course, the gift, Jed. <laughs> That's pretty fucked. No, no. That's pretty fucked up, Jed. I would not take that from these bastards. I know. Tell him, Jed. Show him how tough you are. Apparently, Woody Bush said he put whipped cream around it, and uh, your mom was sitting there on the bed and. Well, you get the drift, Jed. <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> well, it's not like you were there. You don't know if it's happened or not. Oh, I, I was there. I'm, there. I'm always there. Cause I, I asked oh. if, if he was there, his, his tires have been, been popped. He likes to watch. <laughs> okay. No, I actually took three <laughs> truck, truck tires and popped and, fa- and I slapped wow. him with a knife. I like to watch, too. Oh. What do you uh, Vico tires are now slashed. So they can't go anywhere. He was calling her, he was calling her mom. He was like, yes, got mom. a mental image of uh, Woody Bush giving it to Jed's mom and Trish and Jed watching like uh, like they're watching a movie or something. Yeah, he was, like, he, he was saying, yes, give it to me, Jed's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awkward. Can you guys, can you guys imagine well, Woody, Woody Bush good. being Jed's dad? His new nope. Dad? Oh, he called him daddy. Yeah. Nope. So what are you doing? calls him daddy already. So what are you hey, you're listening? Hey. Your tires are slashed. Oh wow. Oh Jesus. Hey Dirk, so who do you have to shop for this year? Uh let's see family. Trish, of course. She needs a new deal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my, hey, you can't get her that. I was suction, gonna get her that. My suction cup hey, I'll gonna get her that too. Hey, there's both. no such thing as too many dildos. Yeah, but I my, it's my, my I always bust the suction cups, guys. So you're gonna have to get me one with a really strong cup. She's no, used to having a worry. bunch of dildos around her at the same time. I like to leave them hanging on the walls, like stuck with the suction cup. Oh, you mm-hmm. fuck! <laughs> and they're a little beat. Why did you really, give one to Jed? I did. He took my old ones, and he, I think, he swallowed them all. No, oh, I didn't. Geez. Ouch. Can't keep no stolen. You're always in the emergency room. Can't keep mm-hmm. stolen. You're right. Speaking of dogs, I heard about your dog, Jed, and I'm extremely sorry to hear that. Yeah, uh, like a couple years ago? Well, for the listeners, I'll, I'll refresh their memory. A few days ago, Jed called me. He was all in tears. I said, what's going on, Jed? He said that his dog had <laughs> uh, gotten to Jed's Viagra when he was at eating at some restaurant. I don't remember what he said it was. And I guess the dog had a big O, a boner. And what got Jed in trouble was the other neighbor next to him, Jed's dog, I guess got it pregnant or was having sex with it. And Jed's dog was a weenie dog and he got attached to the German Shepherd there. And he took it to the vet and the veterinarian told Jed, that dog, I'm sorry, Jed, but your dog is more weenie than he is dog right now. So it's so lame. (laughs) That wasn't me. That's cute. That was not me. I thought Jed was the one having doing intercourse with it. Um, no, you, Jed took a Viagra and he said he got it stuck in his throat and he had a stiff neck. The <laughs> last show he did. That's so. nice. Damn. That's not true. I like that. Jed, did it bust the hymen in your throat? No. <laughs> his throat hymen got busted a long time ago by a cousin. Probably. <laughs> probably. Hey, is All there right. a lot of uh, Jed for Christmas in your family? Is there a lot of sex going on uh, amongst the uh, relatives? No. Hell no. 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 Hey, it's does forbidden. anybody uh, does do any of you guys play uh Christmas games? Like you know yeah. like with your family and stuff? Cornhole. Okay. Mm. We play heads up. We play hole in one. Okay. <laughs> Jed, you, you said you play what? <laughs> heads up. You play head? Okay. Um, heads up, head. Head. Heads up, you dumbass. My bad. 
Hey, Joe, is it true that you play Twister with your family on Christmas uh, no. Eve? But you they guys use oils? Fucking, they take a fucking taping here. Under the well, mistletoe. Shit. That's a good one. No. They take a taping here. Oh, shit. Look at you. Oh, your husband's oh, here, Jed. What is here? This fucking Jed, why don't you tell him? Jed, why don't you tell me you're t- saying about his private parts right now? Yeah, you were oh, just yeah, talking about you? his private feel, parts. You and somebody not. else, too. He said he wants to bone his face. No, <laughs> actually, I said Woody, car tires are all slashed. He says that he wants you to take his throat uh, hymen. Woody, let me give you a little refresher. We were talking about Christmas gifts and how you already gave Jed's mom her Christmas gift the other couple yes. days ago. Yes, yes, I did. I'm, um. It came early this year. Um, was it? Was is it that a normal pre- thing? Was it premature? I, was it premature I, early? I, I, I didn't come early this time, so she oh, okay. suffered it out. And um, he put his Woody in her bush. There we go. That's oh, a yeah, good it's, it's, it's bushy, all right. <laughs> That's what his name comes from. That was a good one. Trish. That was a good one. You dumb bitch. I mean, <laughs> oh, dumb bitch, I guess. But I mean, you're, you're my bitch. favorite. You're my favorite dumb bitch of all of all. I'm them. playing I, I with you. Don't take it personal. I'm just. I, I'm also playing with you. I I would. You know I, I would never you. call a you woman. I love you. I, I totally smash. I, I, yeah. Well, Ooh, who wow. wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was that was fucking. Yeah. I know. Awesome. So what else? Woody bushes are the gals that don't make it hard. Oh, and believe you me, believe you me, Trish is easy. Oh, she got a like for the year. There's usually a, a list of men that try, but she can she only does like 10 a month, right, Trish? <laughs> and then when she, and then that half in prison. Well, well, I mean, well, it depends. Birth control is maxes out at some point. You can only catch so many loads in your mitt before fucking birth control gives out, and then you're fucked. Totally fucked. Yeah, it's like, Literally like oil. It's only got a certain lifespan, or you know. Like, no, my mom. Hold on, I didn't. I didn't hear you about your mom, Jed. Yeah, what she about? Spits. She spits. She spits. You're oh, fucking right. She spits. <laughs> so I blow like I blow a thousand loads in her fucking nasty old mitt there, and don't matter. She can't get birth anymore. It's exactly what I'm fucking saying, retard. Oh, we'll see about that. Thank Would fuck, you like because God, God forbid if I made a child with your mother and it had you as his fucking brother, stepbrother, or whatever the fuck that would be called, some incest fucking... The kid would be smarter fucking, too, though. Well, it's, if, if yeah, I mean, half of it's for me, so I mean, fuck, clearly it'd be smart, boys. Uh, Dr. Jed, how'd you like a new baby brother? You know what? Jed, Jed, no, would, no. You ta- would you change your name to Bush? Nope. <laughs> I think he totally <laughs> likes Bush. it. He's giving you tough love. I don't want him to change his fucking name to Bush. What do you want? He wants to flesh your. He wants to show you his his. Uh, what do you call them? Fleshy sticks. You, are you are you ready to call me daddy yet or what? <laughs> no, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking murder you. You want to suck it? You said? Okay, Trish. Jed Bush sounds like a NASCAR driver. It does. It really does. It, it is. He is NASCAR driver. Bush. Two of them. Well, when I think of Bush, I think of the president. I don't know, but. Jed, would you take showers with your, your new daddy the way you did with your old daddy? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, let's not talk about that. You'll wash Why? my fucking hair and uh, make sure you condition it well. Well, we're... You know what? Your car is no longer a car. <laughs> I, do I look like a fucking... Dude, I don't drive a fucking car. Or a truck wherever you drive. Yeah, oh yeah. Good job, bud. Your truck is no longer a truck. Okay. I destroyed Fair it. parts. I destroyed your truck. Funny. I'm literally standing looking at it right now through my yeah, window. Man. Yeah, now, man. before you destroyed the truck, did you remember to take Biden out first? Because he was waiting for that shower. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but if you are going to destroy my truck, can you make sure you like destroy it all the way so at least I can get insurance and then I can get a new truck that's not broken? That's a good point. Uh, Trish nope. does that every other year. Of course, yes. Oh, Trish, you got any tips then? Because, like, I'm fucking... Yes, sir. Uh, I can make it no, happen. It's going to cost do. you. It's going to cost you a few blowjobs, but two, I... I two, 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 two blowjobs and a rim job? Uh, I say about six blows. Damn, that's crazy. No rims. You can handle it. You got a wide throat. 
Jed, when, have you ever when, washed a vehicle? One second. Like, okay. When I destroy your truck there, Woody, I'm going to and they're going to cancel it. You want to destroy his truck? Why? And he, and his car insurance will be canceled. That is so it's mean of you to do messed that. up, Jed. Yeah, he's such a like he's nice your man. Stepfather. Yeah, why would yeah, why would you do that to your stepfather? Son, that is your father. You apologize now. Not, uh, yes. <laughs> nope. He's got Dr. Dad. Phil all over it. You go to your room. <laughs> he's go fucking <laughs> Already Jed, if, you, if you don't start listening to your daddy. stepdad Woody daddy. or daddy, daddy, it's time to give you a spanking, Jed. Yeah, you will. I'll, give right. him, I'll take my belt like off. Fuck him, you. You're going to say, give me your Woody. Give me your Woody while he's spanking you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, Jed, what do you want for Christmas? A lot. Well, well, just give us an idea. One of the listeners actually want to know. That's why I asked. Okay, I uh, I like a new uh, actually a new jet plane. Did you say a jet? Mm-hmm. Jet plane, yep. A new one, like you already have one. <laughs> yep, I want to get a new one. Like mm-hmm. a toy? Are we talking about like the toy? Nope, real one. When you can fly. What would you like that people would actually get for you? Oh, like a little know. kid, you know. I want an Air Force One. Like, like we were all talking about. What we would get you on the Dirty Jokers if we picked you in our Christmas in our Secret Santa. And you always mention how you lost your vibrator and Trish is next to a porno store where she lives and she's going to pick you up one and mail it to you. <laughs> nice 12-er, right, Trish? Maybe 15. Ooh. Damn. That's too big. That's too big. You can handle it. That's too big. <laughs> you can handle it. Hey, remember that one time you took a whole double-ended? That was like, what, 20-something inches? What? We took me and Dirk lost that whole thing inside you last time. No, that wasn't me. And Dirk was all, "Let me! I want to see you push it out." That you wasn't me. That was, crew in there. That wasn't yeah. me. That was you mad. took that whole thing thirty inches. So I know you can handle it. Ooh, you know? Did your that kidney fall out? out? Holy fuck! No, that was I think mad. He had it in the back of his throat because he kept. Like, well, he said it hit his liver. <laughs> Max, Max, that was that you. That turns him on. Yeah, he pulled it out later, and it was a little beat up, you know. But he took Wait. the whole thing. No, that was wrong. He, you know, he, his asshole took that in the way as snakes eat food, like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, elk, elk, elk. That was good. <laughs> with his booty Trish? hole, me and Dirk Trish were like, "Wow, oh, you see that? We were so fascinated with it." It was like science. He hey, swallowed like if it, like if his anus had a throat swallowing. <laughs> okay, children. Well, that would explain why he has a lifetime supply of enema kits. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't even know what an enema is. Fuck you, Woody. Doctor Jed, what is an enema? You wish I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going there again. Just like he thinks he has a hymen in his throat. Ha, huh, Jed. Now, now, children, behave yourself. How many cherries do you have? Put you guys in a timeout. Yeah, do you know? Do you know what a hymen is? I'm not gonna answer that. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that right now. Come on, we don't want to. Nobody's. You can't be like that. Like if you know somebody asks you, don't be like, oh, I don't want to answer. Don't pussy out like that. Because we're all no, just. I just out. don't want to answer it. This is entertainment only. Now, do you not want to answer it, or can you just not answer it? Yeah, there you go. That's a good question. I don't want to answer it. I'm kind of leaning. I'm going, to yeah, I was gonna say I'm going with you. Can't Should you tell him what it is? I don't want to answer it right now. This it's okay if you don't know. Tell us. There's things that a lot of things we don't know. Oh, no like, way. I don't know. What you should tell him as his stepfather. Fuck you, Dirk. Potential stepfather. Woody, as his stepdaddy, right now. Why don't you explain to him what it is? Uh, um, He's like, part, fuck. I don't even know. You know, with the cherries and the popping and the popping cherries and yeah, but tell them like, well, tell them what happens when you pop it. Popping, popping the cherry, but it clearly is bleeding. What the fuck? And, you get, and and then and then you have taken someone's virginity. The way uh, Dirk took yours and you bled. <laughs> what? No. Dirk, you take that. It's not a fond memory. 
Well, mm-hmm. you said you enjoyed it. Remember, you were like, hell yes, my woman. That's my lady. <laughs> and they see you like, no, I'm on to bigger and better things. The reason I chose Jed is because a couple of guys were already with Trish. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. I like that. What are you talking about? I was getting smashed by, by, by Dirk's father. That's why Dirk calls me mommy sometimes. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. Trish, you remember the hotel room? Fuck no. No, I don't remember remember that. Dirk was watching. Watching what? Me in bed. bed. You're tripping. Oh, my God. No, he didn't. In her dream, she would say yes. (laughs) <laughs> no, we shared a bed together. Here, because she's not a guy. Hey, you want me to have like? He wants me to have a man part? No, me and you are just <laughs> together. What? You're, you're stroking it for me. Stroking it. Oh. Look at Kirk's over there moaning already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. It's, it's called the dirty oh. jokers. Dirk is enjoying that. Say it again so Dirk can moan again. <laughs> You're struggling with dick for me. <laughs> and then say Dirk's you name again. Him say it again. Say Dirk's okay. name again. Are you again. sure that's what it was? Are you sure it wasn't your horse dildo? No, no. She was struck my dick. Like, You're oh, fucking Trish. tripping. You're smoking dope. I was like, oh, Trish, struck harder. Oh. Oh. Make oh. it hard. Make it hard. Get Dang, inside you. That's How cool. many other guys were there with you, Jed? Well, me and Trish in the band together. Oh, no. You were watching, Dirk. I think he made this all up in his head. Then mm-hmm. it sounds mm-hmm. pretty realistic. And you know, <laughs> you know, Max is over there, all quiet. Especially he was the one main one in bed on his back. I hate to say it, but Chris wanted to want to hit. I'm gonna get to give you head. You're so full of shit. You're imagining Did you all. That. Did you confuse no, Trish with a guy? <laughs> no, no, no. Trish, if you. She stuck my dink. You're tripping. Oh, oh did he, yeah. he really said that? <laughs> oh, man. She's going to beat him over the head with a dildo. Well, let's see how Seeker, let's see how Seeker's uh, doing. How are you doing? I'm just fine. Just listening to you guys. So you just got off work? Yes. How'd that go? Oh, that fucking that day drug on. Holy shit! So did you get? Did it? Uh, did they make it rain for you today? Or I mean, did it rain for you today? Rain? No. Rain? Rain? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, where, that's where we work, Max. Yeah, I just. Oh, yeah. They've had every STD out there from them licking on them poles. Mm. <laughs> but they don't mind a wart or itch. They don't. The badge of honor. Yeah, we're not scared of any of them, are we? Dirt? Badges of honor all over our. Cocks. Oh, gross. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yuck. And then we go see Doctor Chad. There we go. He clears it up. No, I don't. Smart like Katrina does. Good morning, good morning. How was when you got Moses Blade back in the Bible time? I can't fucking understand that. All right. All right. Sure. I heard you got Moses Blade back in the Bible. You're gonna it's sneak up there, buddy. Yeah, it sounds like you're mumbling on a piece of rotten ass. I said, how was it when you got Moses laid in the Bible? Because you're old. You want to you wanna kiss whose leg? No, you. I heard you that you got Moses laid. You banged a guy named Moses, Doctor J? Yeah, no, Dr. Trish did. You sleep with a guy named Moses? No, I've never no, had him. Tr- <laughs> Trish did. <laughs> Because she's all fuck. Who's laid an egg? Yeah, true. Trish fucked Moses from the Bible. Who's sneezing? Woody or Bush? I mean, Woody or Seeker? I said you fucked Moses from even... the Bible. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even talking to you, dude. Okay, uh, what you got over there, Dirk? Do you have yeah. anything? Hand it to us, baby. An 80-year-old Japanese man got his skipping rope stuck in his bladder after shoving it up his pee hole. 
That sounds like something. That sounds like something Jed would do. What did he shove? He got a skipping rope stuck in his bladder. What is that? Shoving it up his. A skipping rope, like a, you know, a a, jump rope. Jump rope, yeah. How the wait? How the living fuck was that even possible? Yeah, I bet he took off the handle. I bet he took off the handle. But that's a big rope. No, I bet bet his pee cane would do. No way. He's got one heck of a sizable pee hole, though. What? You think? Dude, that that's not meant to stretch out, is it? People are constantly Uh, sticking things in there. No. I mean, just so, trying to just trying to shovel. It's like pump. those catheter commercials. I can't stand watching them. I hope to God I never have to use the one. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, He's this one done that. slips right up in there, and I'm like, oh, oh, that's. Been there, done that. I know it's painful for a woman. I can imagine a man. Hey, I I've been in catheter stage, so. Yeah, if there was Started. ever a hole that was an exit only hole, it's uh, the penis hole. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Seeker, we had a story a long time ago how uh, a guy had a surgery, uh, and after I forget what the surgery was, but outside oh, yeah. it, it was exiting, but he had poop, little tiny streams of poop coming out of his pee hole. Oh, from the, that oh, like yeah. thing in the butt. Yeah, that, that sounds good. like a, a, a cross wiring of the plumbing <laughs> during surgery. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> It wouldn't be like from a man ha- putting his his wee wee inside of a booty hole, though. <laughs> maybe he also hey, enjoys that. Booty fuck Godzilla. Good. Maybe he so, wasn't washing it out after he would get shit on it. So dirt. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. <laughs> hey, dirt. I still don't know why you how how or why you would do that. You know. You know what? That people are always uh, sticking some people, in there. some people don't bathe like Jed. Excuse me. Can I That's talk true. here? <laughs> they say Jed bathes once a month. So. Hey, can I talk here for a second? Hey, so the guy that, hear him. Holy shit. So the guy that stuck the rope rope jumper up his dick. So, sounds like something that Ken King would do. Wow, Jed. Yeah, Jed. Wow. That was, Jed, you're off the wall tonight. Oh, I don't think wow. your meds got taken today. No. Yes, Did you did. forget one? <sighs> no, I took them. <laughs> so get say ready. What? There's a There's technical one. name. Church, get that bed warmed up. Oh okay, go ahead, Dirk. Oh. Trish. Huh? You gonna let him say that about you? Your lover's dog. He's, he's, a, he's a lover. So a, the medical term for that is vesicle fistulas. She's my lover. Jed. It's when you have, yeah, like, like Seeker said, when you get, sort of get your wires crossed. Wires? The fuck he talk? What the fuck? That's maybe someone. Okay, let me. My other, my other thought is maybe he got boned real hard in the butt and uh, like it ripped and maybe went somehow into the bladder or. You always go there, Trish. Well, I mean, how the heck is shit gonna get into the to the kidney or the bladder? Like, unless he was boning something in the booty and wasn't washing his dick hole. <laughs> but wouldn't it come out? Wouldn't it come out? No, when... See, that's what happens when you go to Doctor Jed for your surgery. But when when he uh, ejaculated or peed, wouldn't the poop come out? Actually, out operating on guys, operating women. Okay, look, real question. Okay, when a guy right. is sticking his penis part in a butthole, I'm sure feces goes inside the the pee hole a little bit. But I would assume oh, it would come out when he urinates or washes it. Or ejaculates yes. me. Yeah. That's a no, really good correct. point. Maybe he was just packing it in there himself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was just fudge packing the shit out of it. Maybe yeah, he took guy lessons gonna... from the jump rope guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if a guy's going to stick a jump rope in there, why wouldn't they put poop in there too? Well, if the hole was big oh. enough for a jump rope hole, I mean. There's some real sickies out there. Oh my God, so shit that would be a serious shocker if Jed was your doctor and you woke up and on the chart it says, Jed's like, hey, uh, by the way, I also, I did this procedure and then I pushed into your shit. <laughs> no, I would not do that. I wouldn't trust you. Mm-hmm. That's the only way he gets laid. Uh, Jed, do you know what a urethra is? <laughs> um, what? I wish uh, we could have taken bets on this one. Yeah, I know, I Jed. Know 
Do you know what a urethra is? Yeah. Do you know where it's? Well, you're a kid. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! I almost want him to, to to tell us what it is. Yeah, where where, where is it located at, Jed? <laughs> can't hear you. Oh whoa. Jed, we can't hear you. Where is it at, Jed? One second. What is he doing? He's Googling, guys. Give him a minute. Come on, Jed. Don't be a bitch like that. Don't be a Google bitch. You probably don't know. We got five. We got five. Can we get ten? Can we get ten? Ten, ten, fifteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty, twenty. Does he know? Does he know? Twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five. Uh, <laughs> he's looking at the Google, one. he'll know. No, no. Like, okay, There's better. What? Well, we had, you know, you if me? we had prizes to give out, this would be kind of funny to have listeners, if they can guess... It, what Jed's going to say, or you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. They win a prize. That would be amazing. Wouldn't it always be that he doesn't know unless it's something very uh, gay? Correct. <laughs> All right. So, guys, you ready? Yep. So, Chris, will you ask me again? Fucker. <laughs> what is it? What is a urethra? Urethra is a thing down by the woman's uterus area. The woman's what area? <laughs> Your, her uterus is. <laughs> you know, you guys, I asked wow. him what he said. He said it's by a woman's uterus. Whatever he uses a big word, you know. And I could have won so much money right there. Yes, you could have. Oh I almost God. I almost want to have someone else ask him another medical question because it's kind of comical. Yeah. Uh, ask me a, a legit The body uh, is the fibular bone. Oh, that might be a little hard for him. Excuse me. What is that? You look it up. Well, what did you just say, young man? Body, what body part on the human body does the fibula bone belong in? Oh fuck! I don't want to go. I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> it's not that weird. Yeah, but we like, want to talk about it. We want to know if you know. These oh, guys I are know. all retards, and they probably know. So, like, oh, I know exactly where all that is but i'm not talking well I'm fucking over. say it don't be more <laughs> he knows where it is he's gonna, gonna tell you. <sighs> he's gonna put us on hold to check on google well, no. <laughs> he's a complicated he's, he's not even, he won't even know how to spell it liar yeah true. he doesn't know how to spell a lot though this is what we're gonna do we're gonna give hey. you 10 seconds to answer the there question you go. I don't know 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know the answer. Fucker. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, Jed. Jed, I got one. Hey, Jed, where in the human body is the epidermis located? Uh, Oh, that's a good one. (laughs) You've got a lot of that you should know, Jed. I mean, you graduated Harvard. How'd you miss that one? You have wow. a lot of it. It's one of your I biggest. I don't focus struggles. on the men, the guy parts. I focus more on the lady parts. Jed. <laughs> Jed, I'll give you a hint. It's one of your biggest organs. Oh, thanks, Trish. My you, have a lot of, you, you have a lot of it that you like to rub on. <laughs> I took my dick. No, you nasty ass. Are you, you talking about my my, 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 uh, my ass? What'd you say? You, you want it in your ass? Talk about your ass right? or, my, or my balls. You don't have none. This is, they're just empty bags. Okay. Oh, come on. Where are you, fuckers? Oh, my God. That's fuckers. a very good Where'd they fucking go? Chris, did you oh, your balls? Hey, I got them. I found them. I found your balls. You found his balls. Me. Your mom carries them. Tell me. No, I thought Chris stole them from me. Good that, for that you, I steal my balls from me. Damn dirty bitch. Ooh. Hey there. Uh, how do you say your name? Herbalist. Herbalist. I'm herbalist. calling ball first. I am herbalist. <laughs> no, I am yeah. the herbalist. Herbalist is good. Yarky ball. I so, have all the herbal pills in the world. Hey, uh, can Jed, I, we okay. have an actual doctor who commented. They want to know what what your uh, your your grade and whenever you uh, took this like college course. My, my grade? I fucking, I fucking, I fucking, I mean, like fucking straight A's, damn it! Right. I was told in my class. 
Hey, what is what does a proctologist look after or do? A what, Marie? Your eyes. Proctologist. Your eyes. <laughs> well, a, a what? A what? A what? A what? A what? A what? A proctologist. What do you say? He wants okay. water. Okay, can you type? Hey, type hey, you guys want to ask questions? Please type it in the chat. So I can okay, read. Okay, I got one. Me? I got one. You can't even read. Never mind. Here. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. You're a dick. You can't even hear. Chad, yeah. Chad yeah, what's a dead. blind? What's a blind gynecologist do? A blind? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh, well, they feel. They read lips. I, oh. Blind, they can't yeah, see no, though, right? That's they pretty good. They can hear, but they can't <laughs> see. We're all fucked, you guys. If he was left to be the doctor for everybody, <laughs> we oh, we'd would. be dead. We, we would be dead. dead. End of the world, Jed's the oh, only fuck. doctor. We're screwed. End of the world as we know it. Like I told all you, I gotta say is I've Woody... seen some pretty shitty doctors before, but like. Can I? Yeah. What's your tape in here, guys? Woody, whatever Canada does, do not let him. At the end of the world, don't let him be in charge. Just, oh my god. So I wish I can chat. Hey, doctor, hey, doctor, doctor Jed. Jed. Doctor Jed, if, going at the end of the you, world, I'll be in charge. If you had a person with a gunshot wound, yeah, what would you take out of Trisha's Trisha's purse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> you might have to, you know, secret. Let me help you. You might have to talk a little slower for him. He's I don't talking think slow. I think he's, he's asking. I'm not slow. He needs to that. slow it down a little bit more so he can understand. <laughs> If you had someone with a gunshot wound, what would you take out of Trisha's purse? Depends where the gunshot wound is. Depends on what? Where the gun sh gunshot wound is. No, that's not what he's, he's not asking you where the wound but... is. He's not asking where the wound is. He's asking you what would you take out of Trisha's purse. Oh, your purse? Probably, I'll probably take your freaking tweezers out of there. Or Definitely what? not her tampon. Definitely not her tampon. No, I already my own it up your ass instead of in the fucking wound. <laughs> I use my own tampon. Well, that's good. Don't bore Trisha's because this oh guy needs it in God. a fucking hole. Leaking. <laughs> He's always no, trying to I'll pack use, a hole. I'll use a tourniquet, actually. Sorry, it's frustrating, man. So I'll use your tourniquet, dummy. Good. I, I got a good one for you. You should know this one. What is it? Trish, you carry a tourniquet in your purse? Yes, I do. Sure do. So do I. Yeah, you got me on that one, I guess. No, I don't carry a tourniquet. Yeah, um, Jed, what is it? No, what is it? Jed, what is an anus? A what? An anus. Your butt. See, you know what that is, you nasty fuck. All right, everyone, we're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. Now, um, part of the doctor thing. What the fuck was that piece of shit's name today? There's a guy on here. I'll send him your way. He's that kind of thing. He was trying to convince us today how the um, age of consent should be lower than 16. What? While his, while his children were making sounds of children in the background, maybe six. It's, a, it's for the that, North American That calls for a beating with a two by four. Where the fuck's my two by four? That, that's some really sick fucking demented shit. No, somebody, no, uh uh. What? Uh huh, uh huh. What are you talking People, about? People, the guy you're talking about, like, if oh, he actually fuck. was oh, serious, dude. if he was okay, serious so, about that, yeah, no. Oh, well, he, no, he was serious, but like, it, I don't know how it started, but Russ had, had, uh, was it? No, it was calves. It was calves. Sorry, fuck. Um, and of course, calves. So like, he's just like, well, yeah, you fucking calling him out on shit. And he's like, well, I think you guys all misunderstood. And he's like, I was just arguing that like, in some states it's 16, in some states it's 18, and it should be the same all over, right? Well, I was like, so, so do you think it should be 16 or 18 though, all over? <laughs> oh well, see, like 16, but like, I think it could be younger than that even. Cheddar man, fuck. There's caps. What? Get get caps in caps, here. Can you please just fucking call in, dummy? Yeah, don't be such a cunt. Yeah, thanks, Woody. Smash your fucking face, caps. Thanks, Woody, for saying that. Fuck, 
I was I was gonna call him that later on on uh, what do you call that? Dude, what um, does this guy want to do? Fuck a ten year old? Like what the fuck? No, what he was. Dude, the year. What? Hello, everyone. Yeah, hello. 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 I hope you're doing well. What it was was uh, let me try and go in a quieter environment. What it was is fucking. So Cheddar Man, he is a part of the OG. Now the OG is a forum with those jujitsu motherfuckers uh, who come from uh, America. Yeah, so I've been in that group for ages, and um, like there's one lad called Dose, I think some of you might know him, and he told me, and a couple of other people told me that he was uh, sending, well, it's not that he was sending mad memes about children, but he was talking about the people's kids to them and making jokes that were just not funny in the slightest, so uh, yeah, man, he got banned from there, and then he come on to my show and started questioning Saying, well, no, and I question when he questioned the, his own, like, you know, movement, I kind of asked him, I said, why are you questioning it anyway? I said, don't you just think it's wrong anyway? And he was, he literally had to sit there and think about it. So, yeah, proper weird. I did ban him about 500 times, so I'm sure he's pretty bad now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cats. You damn sausage fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I like to hear that, uh, what's his name still, uh, you know, sounds like he's got a massive cock in his mouth. Uh, what's his name? Stop. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was all from me. But uh, like I say, yeah, stay away from Cheddar, man. Fucking weirdo. I can have a laugh and a joke, but when you're joking about children, like that's just different. Right. Yeah. Where is he from? America. And oh, he speaks like fucking the land of the he, cheddar. He, he talks like um like not he's got about money. I don't know, like slow mo, you know? Like he's um slow mo. He yeah, talks, he kinda sounds a little right. retarded for sure. Yeah. A bit like Jed, but Jed sounds a bit clever. Well, oh, wow. there's, there's okay, so he's that. okay, so he's he's from America. He's got a name a name of Cheddar Man. Okay. Which one of the states was the the Cheddarheads for like football? Was it Wisconsin or something like that? There you yes. Go. Now, yes you're, now you're playing. Now you're playing detective, fucking seeker. <laughs> now you're seeking something productive. Seek away, buddy. Come on, let's do this. Fucking. Oh, I'd fucking tune him up real good, boys. So we got uh so. Wisconsin. Um, anybody know anything about a job or anything? No, Dirk. Do you know anything about Wisconsin? I thought you did. What about Wisconsin exactly? Dirk, Dirk might have stepped away from his mic. That? Dude, do you guys hear about that dude from Wisconsin that cut up his one-year-old? Well, she was eleven months. He cut her up into pieces on her first birthday. What the fuck? Yeah, they found him sitting at a bus stop a few days how, ago and finally oh out. Oh my god. Him. How was it her first birthday if she was 11? He, he cut her up the day before she was oh, going to turn one. I was going to say, I was in dyslexic as well. I know. Yeah, it was really is, fucked up. Um, he cut her up. He, he is did this guy did. still alive? Yeah, he's alive. They, they apprehended him, but hopefully someone beats his ass in prison. But they yeah, got him. Definitely. There's a lot of horrible yeah, he, child shit going on out there. Real nasty. I stay up with the news sometimes, but there's even another fella that I believe was it that guy, that FedEx guy that that stole the seven year old girl from the from her yard and killed her, raped her, and threw her out in the fields. What? And, the fuck, uh, he, was, he was a FedEx driver. He delivered a package and took the kid with him and. Seriously, her, yeah, the, he did it quick. Right after he, she died, within within an hour after he picked her up from the yard. That's damn. holy fuck, fuck. Seven years old, he killed her, he raped her, and I think he, you know, choked her, or whatever, and left her there. Jesus, man, yeah, there's a lot of talking about that stuff anymore. That makes me really, really. Everybody's really killing the babies up. out there. It's all over. This. So, who's up for target practice? Shit, I am. I wish. That's real nasty. See, and Dr. Jed, Dr. Jed only wishes things like that happen to him now as an adult. 
<sighs> and every time you shoot his ass, you shove a tampon in the wound so he doesn't fucking bleed out. Wait, 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 wait. Can you dip it in gas first? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Because that'll feel good. Yeah, give him some adrenaline, too, as you're doing it so he don't pass out. Cute. Slam him with some strong ass EpiPens. He'll stay awake. Oh, just puke. No, Now, just like, just chain him to a tree and give him PCP. Give him PCP and let's give him some adrenaline so he don't pass off in the pain. PCP? PCP, PCP be all, drug, he'll be all tripped out, though. Then he won't know what's going on. We got to keep him sober minded so he can know everything and, and feel everything. Just pick up his heart rate so he don't pass the fuck out. Huh, you Jed? may not have seen somebody no. in that situation due to the fact that they were date raping women in the bar. Now, with the whole laws uh, that are, you know, with, with the, I don't want to call it COVID restrictions, but a lot of prisons in the U.S. <laughs> or jails, they're not accepting prisoners unless you're, you know, what? murder or something like that. Yeah, a lot of it's just a slap on the wrist anymore it seems like but oh with these God. gentlemen do you think they're even going to see jail time i mean real jail time or are we okay. talking you know what i mean oh yeah i think so yeah, i've seen a thing on 2020 the where they got these jail. sexual sexual predators yeah they're just basically getting a few days in jail and then uh they have to register and you know house arrest kind of thing yeah it's i remember sickness. seeing um <clears throat> i remember seeing a story uh, a couple weeks ago about some guy, he served like a year and a half or two years for, I think it was like child molestation or some shit, and they let his ass out. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And how is he that still alive? They're being, they're, they're being real lenient right. right now. I agree. Here in California, if you get a 2735, they, they I think you, they hold you for 24 hours. What's a 2735? Yeah, when you beat up uh, your cohabitant or your spouse, you know, you beat somebody, you beat your spouse's ass, you beat your wife's ass. <laughs> They'll take you in for an eight-hour hold and release you. They don't yeah. hold you no more, and then, like you stay there. Or you, they just like let you go. Or three months, yeah, whatever, before they used yeah. to keep you. You'd you'd have to take classes and all that. Now, well, it used to it's, it's, I, it's a sight and release. I, I knew a, I knew somebody I used to work with. He kind of went weird, and he kind of beat up his girlfriend, or, or they well, they would fist fight each other. But long story, whatever. But he did six months in jail, and so did she at, at another time. Uh, this is before COVID, you know what I mean? Before all that, but the, yeah, a whole six months before be released. So all I'm getting at is, uh, is it's changed. I mean, eight hours compared to six months. I don't know about other states. I'm just using that for example. Well, I mean, all that's going to do is turn a domestic abuse case into a murder case. Cause you know, after eight hours in jail, however pissed the person was, is going to be even yes. more fucking pissed. And it's going right. to kill them. Yeah. And the problem with our, our governor and Biden is they're releasing, even if they did murder, it depends on what murder it is. This is what's crazy. Um, if it's not like an extreme, extreme murder, they, they get released. Out. Well, like, I don't know how they define which is which, but yeah, you get released. It's unreal. Yeah. It, it's almost like they actually want the crazies on the streets to create the most chaos. Hmm. Well, all right, everyone, we're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. No, that was strange. That was, strange. That was weird and strange. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Okay, now on another note. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I was a little lost me. for a second. I apologize. It's like, uh, okay. In other news, in British Columbia, they don't medicate correctly. And now people want to run. We're going to interview one of the ones that is not medicated properly, Dr. Jed. Please, if you are unmedicated, we advise you to call in and get interviewed. So we'll start with Jed. Jed, how does it feel not to be medicated the correct way in Canada? (laughs) What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, now, now, children, now, All now. Of a the phone lines just explode. It's illegal for you not to take it. <laughs> Exploding that. like dirt. That's a court man. <laughs> like did, like, like uh, Fro- the, the movie Frozen would say, let it go, let it go. Yeah, watching them kids' movies again. I, yep. 
Is he talking about Frozen? Yeah, yeah. Frozen, yeah. Right status. Oh, I don't know. I have a hi, we have a caller here. You actually Let seen that movie? Yes, I have. Oh, my, with my nieces. Oh, no. No comment. No, no, no I bet, comment. I bet he doesn't even have nieces. Comment. Let's not comment, Seeker. I might say something inappropriate. I do have nieces. I highly doubt your sister would let you anywhere near her fucking kid, knowing you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can I go to hell, I wouldn't even trust you with a dog, Jen. I've, I've said that before, and I mean it. Oh, I wouldn't trust him with a plant. <laughs> well, what, what, what about his dog? The dog ran off. Is that what you were singing? Let it go. No, not that. No, we're, we're past that now. Peanut butter in the asshole and get the dog to lick it off for fuck's sake. Wait a minute. Are we talking about the dog that ran away or the dog that ate the Viagra? Well, when you run away, if you ate Viagra, <laughs> you the you. You're messed up. What about the berry hey, shots? Hey, stay away from my Venus flytrap. What do you think they're cocking your mouth? What? The shots fired. It's your mom's clip. Ooh, that was, was a big shot. Thing, but I mean, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> the, he said, someone put your dick in my mouth. I don't know about that, Woody. I wouldn't take that bullshit from your son. I'd, you I think he's just grounded. Wait till I drive my hammer in his ass just for fun, because... I want to see him cry. You should put him up for adoption. Then he'll fucking call me daddy. You can go fuck yourself. Wait, like a hammer? What is he, Paul Pelosi? <laughs> no, Seeker. It's a, it's, a, it's a Canadian slang term for hog. Yes, you, know, you will be hogtied. Stick, fucking pump wagon. Woody? Anybody you will be hog tied. I'm good at untying knots. Not when, I, not when I hog tie you. Well, we'll see about that. I'm I'm fucking ready about any, any day, any time, any fucking let's do this. A uh, hog tie is so good that you'll be like. Hey Jed, do you have any more? Hey, okay, untie me, damn Jed, it. Do you have any more weird news? No, I don't. Doctor Buzz Light. What the fuck happened? Oh damn. Oh well, Jed. You should have Canadian fights. Y'all, you guys want to do another one? Yes, I do. Everybody, go take a shit, get your beer, come back, have a seat, wipe your ass right, and we'll see you. Here Wash your hands time. too. Okay. All right, everyone, we're gonna have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. Anyways, Chance the dog. Yeah. Kind of like a boxer, bulldog, or whatever he was. That's the kind of dog I had. I rescued from the pound. And well, one is day, it a pit or a bulldog? Dog, I put... two different things now. I'm confused. Well, anyway, this dog, anyways, his name is D.O.G. I put, I put him outside to go pee. His the, name was D.O.G. Just answer me that. taking a piss. No, you just shut up for a second and let me finish my story for I freaking <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fucking hell. Charge fired. Do you hear that? <laughs> just, 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 fucking rat, rattling in the cage. <laughs> so anyways, go on then, let me talk finish. to the fucking go on after all that. Yeah, I'll, I'll mute, Jed. I'll mute myself. Thank you. So um, so I let the dog take him out. You know, let him go take him for a piss. Then I go call him. I don't see him. I said... Yeah, I'm calling him, calling him, calling him. I'm up and down the driveway trying to find him. Damn. The little fucking bastard, oh, decides, he tries to run off down the bush and he doesn't come back. I went, you little fuckhead. He, fucking he didn't come back. So you, next day, nope. After that, days. nope. I went, little son of a bitch ran away. You little fucker. So I, even I even the fucking dog knows you're a cunt. <laughs> Yeah, I was just about to no, say the dog actually, opened his eyes and said, woof, woof, get out of here. <laughs> He's pulling his finger no, up. Like, boom, no, woof, woof. no, actually, Jed, Jed, put your I, in I, him. I don't I like peanut butter him. anymore. Woo-hoo. I give him a bath. <laughs> I don't want to care for that dog, damn it. Just like that dog, I care for it. Dr. Jed, having a real unhealthy relationship. What was your dog's name? <laughs> D.O.G. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. Snoop Doggy. 
That's what Jed does when he's getting, uh, uh, you know, a joker. receiver. <laughs> Dirk, sorry, so like that. D O G E. Sorry, Max and myself, Doctor Jed. Doge. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> Doge. Douche. 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 Yes, Doge. 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 D O G E. D O G E. D O G. -E. D-O-D-O-G. That's just a Y. It was a nice dog, but... So what happened oh, to well. the dog? It, never, it really never came back. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, I freaking Dude, fed you, it. Just all like day. your mom. My, away from you. my dog. My personal Dude, dog. Just like your mom and dad. I, never came back. At least it was you consistent and consistent. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm done with this shit. Yeah. Well, there's the door. Make sure it hits you fucking on the way up. Excuse me? Hey, wait, wait, so, you to, boy. so you you named your uh, you named your dog after a cryptocurrency? No. No, well, D O G E is Doge. No, I meant to say D O G Y. D O G is actually dog. That's not how you spell dog. You, you know the word dog. D O G Y. Yeah, D O G G Y. Wait, wait, Jed. Doggy, how do you spell dog? dog? D O G. But you know, you know, you know the word dog, right? He's playing, you guys. Got to be. No. You said you know, D-O-G. You know dog, right? D-O-G. Right? Well, you add another G on the end of it. And then hey, the Y. Uh, Jed, so you got how do you spell muffin? There was this dog with, a two, with two Gs and a Y. Jed, how do you spell muffin? I'm not going not to... No, I'm good. No, 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 shit, stop, no, 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 I'm done. I'm Please done. tell me you know how to spell muffin. Fall asleep. Jed, are we losing connection here? Or what? What's going on? Let's get that bed ready. What the fuck did he just say? He said, get that bed nice and warm. Uh, for I what? Wants, Jed, I think he wants you and muffin. your horse dildo fucking strap on. Because, Trish, I don't like him hard tonight. What did Jed. he say? Wait, I missed that. What? I said I want to come hard tonight. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you need to fall back, you little homie. You better switch hands. You better switch hands then. Yeah. Buddy. One's getting old okay, hey, Jed, if you want Trish, you have to spell muffin first. No, he, no don't do that, Seeker, because he's going to Google it. Excuse me, Trish. Trish Seeker. How do you spell muffin? What was that, stud muffin? Okay. Yeah, we understand. You know how to say the word. Now, how do you spell it? Okay. M. I'm going to help you out here. U. I don't want to spell right now. F. Okay, you got to finish. I'm not. I'm good. You always get to ask everybody stupid fucking questions, and everybody always plays along with your bullshit, so you fucking better answer right now. <laughs> Who's snoring? <laughs> Fuck face over here. What's that? Jed, Brian says you answer the question. Jesus fuck. Man, I hate that boss. Wish Meg would come back sometimes, but... <sighs> okay, I'm just classic, so... M-U-F... I N. See, told you go. Well, you know, hold on. He didn't spell it right, so that means he can't have a horse cock strap on. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. You, you, he wants me to blow my back out, boning him with a horse cock. Do you remember where you were on uh, November twenty third? Who are you talking to? You. What? He was inside his ball. Yeah. He was inside his mom's vagina. Three p.m. roughly. You don't know anything about a Blackburn Elementary School? Blackburn Elementary School? No, I wasn't there at all. Blackburn? Blackburn, yeah. Are, are you sure? And you didn't ask two boys if they wanted to ride home with you? What? Nope. What? I wasn't, I wasn't, no. They're, they're Wait, looking hold, for you. Hold on they're here. They're looking for you. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a warrant out for, for your arrest for that. And then... Okay, Brian told me I have that. I have to answer that. Hmm? The, the just description said, oh, of the perp really just pretty much describes you. So I just what? thought maybe 
I should give you the heads up. In the, you know, Hold on. Okay. I, I really hope you're fucking around with this. Well, and I mean, I don't know. It could be. Could be him. Jed, where were you on September? It's 11th? a real. It's a real warrant. In Prince George. Well, time out. What the fuck? Okay, wait a second. <laughs> Max, Jed, where were you in nine eleven? On September eleventh. Well, you. Yeah, Admitted you looked like an ISIS, ward, wasn't he? I he was like an ISIS. I was just curious. No, I was in Washington D.C. He does look like an ISIS. You're lying. Us. D.C. What the fuck in were you Washington, doing in D.C.? DC? He Washington. was not. He's lying. Is that the White House? No, you fucking weren't, dude. You've never even been out here. Yeah, I have. You At have the time, they I don't will... think President Bush would have let you in. They wouldn't they let, let you. Let you the they wouldn't let you through the border. Can. No, they have. No, they. They'd stop you on hey, the hey, Jed, I got a, no Jed, I got a question for you. Okay. You said that on 9-11, you were in the White House, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> when, the the first, when the first plane hit the first tower, were you sitting with President Bush in the White House? President Bush was actually in the, at a school reading to the kids. Uh, okay, he, he got that one. Yeah, he did. I was going to say that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. It's your first win tonight, bud. Yeah. All right. I'll give you that one. Give you one point on the board. Jed won. Everybody else a million. Nice try, bitch. Well, fucking. Who is he calling the B word? Me? <laughs> you, Trish. He's calling me the B word? <laughs> no. Oh, wow. <sighs> calling a bitch. It. What do you think? Trish, Woody. every time she hears that word, she thinks someone's calling her that. I know, because I'm always getting called that. She got, she got so horned up from fucking me calling her a fucking dumb bitch earlier. She would send me fucking titty pics. Ooh. Oh, you. You are yeah, they keep like, never mind, I take okay, it back. Just, just you wait till you hey, see Jed, my You have long hair, right? I got, you know, Wait, Trish, who? Right there. Trish, hey, what who kind of dress? Hair? What kind of dress are you going to wear to your wedding with Dr. J? Uh, uh, what kind of uh, suit do you want to wear to your funeral with Jed? <laughs> Time out. Oh, <laughs> hey, more question. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, Dirk, you got it all wrong. He's going to blow Jed's your ass out with be, light bulbs. Jed's going to be Jed's wearing, wearing a dress, dress, and she's going to yeah. be wearing a tux. <laughs> yeah. So there you, you go. got it wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to be in the wedding, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I'm, I'm wedding fucking you. Be in the Trish goes, closet. there we go. <laughs> Dum, dum, like da, dum, hey Jed, you have long hair, dum, right? Dum, da, dum. He has yeah, peepee hair. Nasty beard. His beard smells like urine. Like he's got poop in his beard. <laughs> but Jed, Jed <laughs> on, on the top, we're all talking well, he about wipes his, his beard. <laughs> he wipes his ass and blows his nose at the same time. We no, get it. He's got a butt face. He has urine in his beard. There's poop in every beard. There's just a lot of it in his. Oh, so, hey, um. Dirk, let's tell them the truth, sweet cheeks. Oh, damn. Man. Beard's I wish I clean. There. Okay, Dirk said he made out for a few minutes with Jed until he started to smell cat pee in his beard. <laughs> hey, I wanted to say if I made out with Jared. He said that he tasted it, tasted real sour in his mouth from his mm. from his mm. beard. He said that oh, it's all it, the hair's all red around his chin and oh, his, his lips. Yep. He said it's, his hair is real rough mm -hmm. like pubes. Herpes fucking everywhere. <laughs> Animal uh, so, so Jed, <laughs> that's how he knows Jed, he's in it because he was rubbing his ass and his beard. Chris, <laughs> shut up, wait, Jed. Wait, wait, the hair on top of your head—it's it's long, right? No, it's short. It's, it's medium. Okay. Well, so one of the listeners want to know how did it feel last night when they had you uh, pulled by the back of the hair? What? <laughs> yeah, what's, they said they were the, pounding oh, you out from behind, <laughs> and they had a. They had a fistful of your hair. He was getting plugged. He was, that, out. He, was like getting, he, was getting hole, he was getting his booty hole written. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he, they were making love to him like he had a fistful of vagina in there. That did not happen. And then when he came, shit flew out everywhere. <laughs> I, I know, Jed. I, I wish you didn't do that. That reminds me of Joe Biden. Remember, I don't know if anybody remembers <laughs> You're that. You're always talking about Joe conference. Biden. I'm going to beat because your he ass me about Joe Biden. Because <laughs> he cracks me up. Because he cracks me up. He's doing this pre press conference and he goes, 
I lowered the price down. And it was hilarious. He starts whispering. Putin is the one that <laughs> Putin is the one that pooped himself. I know he did. Jed, what what do you no, do? Biden. Yeah. <laughs> Biden shoot himself in the Vatican. <laughs> Jed, what, oh, what is the protocol for when you poop yourself? Uh, you gotta wipe anymore. your ass and clean it. That's the protocol. Do you, do you use like wipes you like uh, poop yourself? You... Pretend it didn't happen. No, you, you gotta you wipe that shit. About it. Oh, you gotta wipe that shit out. Of you. Especially if you yeah, got you big gotta... fat cheeks, you gotta wipe it out. Trish, have you pooped you yourself? Know big of fat course. Cheeks, eh? Oh shit! Ugh. Everyone has. I mean, I've taken a fat shit on myself. Trish, Trish is wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's just it's like a, you know, it just shoots out everywhere. I just puked that, in my mouth and got a boner at the same time. Yes, it wrong that it turns me on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what did I hear about pooping my mouth and it turns me on? No, I said, I said, I just got, I just puked in my mouth a little and got a boner at the same time. Why? Was, you like fucking in the ass? Said. Do you like boning in the ass? I was just, uh, whatever, it was just so dirty. And I mean, <laughs> Ooh, you're one of those. Okay, I get Trish, it. Trish says that so naturally because she's used to saying it. But after she says oh. it, she's like, it'll be about 40 bucks for that. Oh. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> yeah, 40 That's bucks. 40 That's bucks for that. Worth. That's what all she's worth. I like that. Max, that's well, you she know, used but... to be a mail order bride. She was a mail order bride for uh, a few years back, and they would, she would. <laughs> she would be delivered to their house and they'd open the door and they would be like, Oh God, I would like to send her back. And she'd be like, I'll give you 50% off if I can stay. <laughs> Such a bitch, dude. Feed me. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. When he first met me, he's like, I thought you had a dick. Get out of here. <laughs> uh huh. Wait, you're not a man? Well, I knew that Max shoes pants once. No, I had it hollowed out and shoved inside. Nah. <laughs> Imagine? No, Dirk is uh, Dirk's never done that. By the way, Dirk, his, done what? His, his pants. Dirk's never shit his pants. Yes, he has. Absolutely. Oh, he has. He when I had him last night, he shit himself all over. <laughs> well, trust me, I know he shit his he pants. He shit himself after he told me he loved me. He was like, "I love you so much." <laughs> did, did, did you pick it up and throw it at him after? <laughs> the hell oh, no! I got monkey. I, I got monkey on. style. What are you a fucking chimp? <laughs> you bathing your <laughs> shit. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> in san francisco they just shit on the ground after just he, let y'all know after he i, I heard head, about that that's shit. actually a thing yeah, yeah when i i Sorry, we what, had to what go did through he do there Trish? after he after he busted a fat nut he shit himself <laughs> i busted through both ends <laughs> and it was all watery and he was like i'm so sorry mm. please don't ever tell this is our yeah. secret mm. didn't they didn't they actually um capture on video some guy he was shitting on the sidewalk and shooting up at the same time. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I was, we we had to go through San Francisco, but I seen this lady and this man. They one guy was in a suit and she was in a, you know, nice uh, skirt, whatever. But she's mm -hmm. about four people in front of me, and she just pulled down her panties and starts shitting in the street. And they're continuing to have a conversation. Then she pulls her drawers <laughs> up. No, I, and she's not homeless. Check this out. She pulls them up. Oh, they go God. right to the attorney office because there's a courthouse right there. It just walks in like nothing happened. <laughs> uh, Are you fucking what? kidding me? No, that, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Max, there has it's, to be a toilet in there. Why wouldn't she use the toilet in what? there? Because the you can fuck? shit in the street. It, you can shit and piss in the street because they have a they have a cleaners uh, like that's yeah, uh, you know like at unit. five a.m. Yeah, m. Well, yeah you know what I mean. And they have a cleaning head. crew and they spray uh, the sidewalks it. off. Can you imagine telling your friends you got a new job and that's your new job to clean, clean up, up shit off walls? Right. Yeah, but it's see, like a pressure what, washer. What I don't understand. Man. What I don't understand is like oh, okay, good. even if that is allowed, um. One, why the fuck would you do it? And two, um, not, you're not going to wipe yourself? It's not she did loud. I just swear to you, she did for fancy people. Honestly. I was shocked because <laughs> when she just okay, pulled them up something. and act like nothing happened, I was I was shocked. And, and the guy next, you know, next to her, still continuing to have a conversation like it's nothing. <laughs> like, Dude, okay, you know. you've, you've got to be fucking with me. Um, come no. on, no, no, I'm serious. Hey, Derek, remember when you shit your pants on that roller coaster in uh, Japan? Dude, why do you have to say something so fucking extreme? Yeah, Who the fuck goes to Japan? Like, oh. 
Shirk <laughs> members. Yeah, but this fool's never been to fucking Japan. Like, Stay away from he's never been to fucking. He barely leaves the outskirts of his country. I can't see any other country letting Jed in there at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's like, like maybe we were in the bathroom in Japan. Like, what the fuck? Well, Dirk, you remember that? I can see Thailand letting them in. They say hey. anybody in. <laughs> yeah, but Dirk, when we got off the road course, I said, Dirk, how was the ride? I went, oh my god, just shit my pants after that ride. I went, oh my god, you did not just say that. Is this fantasy? Is this your fantasy (laughs) land? Or where are we at? This is true. Jed, do you guys remember when we first got Jed on the show? And we asked him what he was, what he did that uh, day. He said that he was going and looking to buy a house that was like 15 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. And he was mm -hmm. like, yes, I remember that. And we were like, bathrooms. We were it like, happened. Hey, what bathrooms do you need? Jeez. Yeah, that was like, we were like, is he fucking serious? Like, I got one for you. I got Trish. I got one for you. Mm-hmm, yeah. You remember the uh, first time we ever met Jed? He called in and he said how much he liked Trump. Remember, and I was excited because uh, I was like, because I'm a huge fan. <laughs> and I and this is what I said. I said on live air. I said I like this guy. I want him on the show every day, right? And I have that recording somewhere. And I regret saying that. <laughs> Play it. I don't have it with me, Jeff, but I regret I don't know, it. man. I think you guys pretty well fucking scored and made things easy for yourself when you found him. Because, I mean, oh, um, sounds like a love where thing. Else can you true, sounds like a love true. thing. Where else can you host a show true. for fucking six, uh, six hours and just rip on the same person? And then <laughs> yeah. You uh, back every and single week. New, yeah. Bored, yeah, I've never known somebody shit, to, like, I, I've never known somebody that but, likes to be ripped like that. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, Woody. Makes me feel so much better. He wants to be ripped. Who does? Jed's actually, uh, on a a real note, Jed uh, has actually come to be like a character in a sense to a lot of listeners. You know, (laughs) it's always, it's kind of interesting. Because in real life, I believe he's, uh, how he is on the show, I kind of feel like that's how he is in real life. Jed? More than likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd put money on it. Jed, you know we're talking good things about you. I know. I am a doctor in real life. We know you are, sweetheart, in your mind, and that's fine. (laughs) All right, everyone. We're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. So all you guys like- actually makes it nasty and bad. Actually, you know, uh, sorry. how many uh, people would want citizenship? <laughs> like that would be that would be entertaining to watch on TV. Somebody <laughs> date Jed for citizenship. <gasps> hey, he would get Wait, a lot of play. To what country? What do you mean? How many people to Canada? U.S. And they'd, they'd have to live with him for a year. That's I think the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and it can't got, be the we've U.S. Got Canada, we got U.S. Which one? I mean, come on. It's Canada. He's Canadian. It has to be Canadian because he's Canada. Yeah, Canadian. Like what he said. Yeah, but yeah. would they, they be able to? Live? I'd still, I'd still watch it. I'm sorry, I would. I'd still watch it. I hey, think it'd be hey, hilarious. but big question: Would they have to live with Jed in his mental facility? Yes. Well, yeah, they, they have to live together for a year for them to get to. For Jed, a year. will they let you have a, a man or woman there with you, like a mate? Excuse me. Me. Well, Jed, they'll cook you dinner. You, they might give you a little blowjob from time to time. Rub down here. They already cook him dinner there. He's in an institution. They might even fuck you in the ass. It's up. You know, I don't know. The hob get the urine out of your beard. No, with all what? the with all the crazy laws in Canada, I think I would probably just drop his head off at fucking Parliament. Uh-huh. Well, well, there. Do something about our prime minister then. No, well, I never said whose head. No, I know. <laughs> There's room for more than one head. Oh fuck! All right, Jed. So oh, yeah. let's say a citizen comes to Canada or from a different country, and she's she or he's got to live with you for a year. They arrive at your house or your mm-hmm. facility that you live in. Um, well, what what do you do first? What do you do? Like, do you give them a tour of your uh, bedroom or, and stuff, no. you know, your loony bin, whatever you want to call it? Do you say, this it? is where my depends go? This is my bathroom? No. 
we have to share this bed. No. Nope. Do you do you describe your um shit schedule? Like at nine a.m. every morning, you have to take a massive shit, and so the bathroom must be empty. Yeah, I know. Mm. Oh, stop please that's do not that. that's not me playing the recording. That's Jed. <laughs> yeah, please mm. do that. But Jeez. you're gonna record that next. Of course, you get sore sometimes. Ninety five of these men like boys, so they're gonna fall in love. with I'm you. trying to tell you, that's yes. not me. <laughs> My pussy gets sore sometimes. Oh shit! <laughs> mm. How does it get sore? <laughs> He's sleepy. Uh, what? How does it get sore? It just does. Here I come. You know, you're not like supposed that. to uh, yeah. sit on traffic cones. You know that, right? <laughs> no, he likes to take like tall skinny oh, delineators for like two feet long. Oh, you like it, don't you? <laughs> and sometimes I like to, you know, like, fucking harder. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, mommy. Take, like, like that, mommy? <laughs> yeah, that felt good. Oh, I'm pretty much my life, mommy. I'm, I won't eat cow ever again. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Oh, I, think I, just, I think I just came inside you. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Uh, Dirk, this is your uh, night right here. Oh, my God. Like that? Dirk, this is your night. No oh, wieners. That's the night you Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'm sucking it. I'm cleaning it for you. Oh, that's mm, a nice and wet. Oh, that, that sounds so mm. fucking disgusting. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Fucking, let's get married. Fucking stop. Mm. We should have a game show. I have an idea. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we should have a game show. I have a great idea for a game show. We should get 100 women that want to get into this country and ask them if they would do things to him to get into this country. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Not, not, not a goddamn one of them would sign up after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. for a, there's got to be a couple. They'd be like, there. fuck you. I take the bombs. I take the bombs. <laughs> fuck you. I take the bombs. I would say three out of a hundred would uh, go for them. You can bomb my house right now. Fuck you. <laughs> and then we could we could uh, do a show based on the three that, that say yes. That's a good idea. I don't know too many that would say yes, though. Well, they'd have to change him. And more than likely, they would be the like the the fucking the fattest, grossest, fucking mole spotted, fucking like. Ugh. <laughs> Jed, would you like to be part of that? Part of what? You were just listening. I am setting you up with some hot chicks. I can take care of that myself. <laughs> really? Oh, mm-hmm. Tell us the that? last hot yeah. chick, chick you've been with. Did, what? Did you say your mom? No, you dummy. He took his medicine too quickly. What is his mom hot? God, no, she's fucking ugly as fuck. I'm going in the backside of Toby's ass and smells like it too, I tell you. But, I mean, I just get the pleasure of fucking Jed's mom. Because it's Jed's mom. And, well, fucking take a shot of cement and earn the fuck up, man. Don't be such a goddamn pussy. Makes it look like retards, and I'm sick of it. So I'm going to go back to puking. Because that whole thing there just made me so sick. To, like, so... Fucking girls. Hey, Jed, they would all quit. Jed, Not a single one of them would stay. Jesus, Jed, wow. Jed, so, show Trish how you get hot chicks, even though Trish isn't. Yeah, let's hear it. Huh? That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> show Trish how you get hot chicks. Let me hear it. Jed. Let like, me hear it. Yeah, there we go. Hear what? Oh. Please, no, don't. To? Please, no. Don't, Come on, don't, man. please, no. <laughs> oh, pull her all the love a hole in the door. Please don't do it. You just said you get hot chicks, right, Dr. Jed? Uh, how, how yeah, do I can, you get, yeah. Okay, Jed, here's one for you. If you were going to get Trisha's panties wet, what would you say to her? No, hell. 
He might not understand that. No. He might be like, I gotta put pee on that. <laughs> oh, is she pee herself? Oh, what, fuck, what's going you guys on? Are fucking are nasty. Who's talking about pan- <laughs> Church's panties, you dicks? <laughs> I knew you were waiting for my response, you dick. No, that's not what I was waiting for. I'm trying to get him to use his uh, romantic lines, and he's not understanding, so I I mentioned your panties. Yeah. Wake up, you stupid foreigner. Okay. Hey, Janet, what would you say to accomplish the goal of getting Triss's ass on your face? (laughs) <laughs> he's done he's done for the night you right? know what we're gonna hear the story fuck you guys for even some... using me as an example you bunch of bitches hey hey why don't you why don't... <laughs> Trisha's both... ass on your face hey both Seeker and Woody Bush why don't you play the role of Jed in this situation yeah let's do that oh hell <laughs> I would tell you to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> now, you really got to get in the character when you're doing Jed. You got to talk a lot slower. Just listening. Uh, Hello, Jed. Come on, Jed. What would you say? What I say about what? You're holding up the... What would you say to Trish to get in them panties? Oh, Trish, get ready because I'm going to come inside you. Oh, jeez. I'm going to give it to you like this. Uh, 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 I think I uh, just went gay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Trish, take that in the pussy. Take, in the, take this in your pussy. Bag. Well, let him talk, Trish. Go, I'm all queered out now. Fuck that. Trish, I'm going to take, take this in your pussy, back. Trish. Take this in your <laughs> pussy. You're a fucking ass. You're lucky hey, you're Jed. far away. Jed, <laughs> hey, tell the yeah. listeners real quick. Uh, Jed, tell the listeners real quick about... What was it? Your first girlfriend on our show, and she left you, and became what? Tell them what they became. Lesbian. She, yeah, she became lesbian. 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 The, the, she, after she, she dated Jed. She went. Mm-hmm. Her. She had a crush on me, and then that fell through. Yeah. How did she have a crush on you? Was she was she blind? Nope. She was blind. After dating that, Jed. Actually. After dating Jed, the women turn lesbian and just turn. <laughs> but okay, wait a minute. Uh, um, apparently, if she actually did have a crush on you, then there was something that she liked. So, what did you do to fuck it up? Nothing. Did Did you well, uh, have her put on the strap on and say, no. hey, "You fuck me"? It's just my turn. No. She's just okay, love another woman. To, uh, let's go back to serenade, Trish, shall we? What else? She doesn't know what that word means. Come on, Max. Spell that word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, Trish, so far, would you get into bed with Jen? Don't ask me that, you bunch heard? of dicks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's do it. What's like? What's on the line here? Just not to say. Yeah, get let her me read what you wrote, you dick. No, Caps, you're wrong. You fucking asshole. You guys are tripping, all you guys. Yeah. No. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this fool uh-huh. This don't even shower. You guys are asking me if I want to be with him. Yeah, what, how many showers a week do they let you have there? Well, I mean, technically, you don't really have to be with him. You could just be on the other side of a glory hole and just fuck him with a strap on. That's nasty. Imagine how bad he smells. Oh god, no, I don't want it. Yeah, I, I guess the smell would kind of leak through, but you can deal with it. You know, toughen up. Toughen up. Yeah, you toughen it up. Oh, Bend over. Yeah. Grab in the ankles. Go grab yeah, I will fucking, fucking skin you alive. Gross. Gross. Just, just fucking you know you let him, Seeker. Spread those cheeks for daddy. Uh, no. Uh, 
He's fucking little boy. He's a little boy. Well, Who's yeah. Whistling hey, through their nose. That's Jed. I can hear. What's that? Pretending to snore. I'm not snoring at all. I'm just listening. This interest is me harder, pay me harder. <laughs> I'm here. So give us some more news, dirt. Are you sure it's not somebody screaming like way okay, in the background? Can you guys hear me? I'm having some internet issues. Yeah, we're Are you hearing. also having? Uh... Okay. Cows were f- were fed hemp, which produced milk with THC. Fuck. Huh. It's a way to get kids to drink their milk, right? That's interesting. You can get big kids to drink their milk. That would help the, the Vinny, cow industry. Vinny, I'll tell you something. I have the most respect for women, and um, I'm, I'd be the first to stand up for just about any woman, but you see, the thing here is Trish isn't a woman, Damn. so it's okay. It's okay. To, it's okay. It's okay to rip on her, <laughs> and um, I mean, she can keep up with the best of them. It's like she, she'll shit talk you up and down, fucking. You won't even know it hit you. I've heard it before, and I've caught it before. So I mean, sometimes I gotta watch my mouth. I'll catch it too. Um, I do. Know but she can take care of herself. She likes to hang with the big dog, so she throws her nut sack on the floor, <laughs> and then everybody's like, "Oh fuck, here we go." Oh man, I mean no harm, guys. This is this fucking app is just for fun and laughs. I mean Uh, no harm, absolutely no harm. I I got one. So you break down too quick sometimes. Like, I I don't think any of us mean any harm, but you don't tell anybody that. You 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 just you 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 keep being a tough bitch about it, and then fucking (laughs) giving it to the boys and. yeah. They don't, then they call me bitches and I laugh and they get more mad. Then they put the black strap on on and then they fucking tower. Yeah, they fall to their knees. Ooh, gross. I know, and I'm like, ooh. I that one for you. Okay. So let's say a judge <laughs> says, because you're a criminal. Don't, so, don't say nothing about Jed, asshole. So, so a judge <laughs> says, a judge. Don't tell me what to do. A judge, a judge sentences you and he says, you can either go to a maximum security prison or you can have phone sex. Not you know what? Person, no. Phone sex with Fuck judge. you and no. your phone sex. I will We're go going to jail. Max? I'll go to jail. To a max prison? Yes. All day. Oh, damn. That's where you're sort of blowing anyway, but still. Uh, hell no. You know what that'll do to my mind if I hear that? You know what? Even if you're like for a trillion dollars, Trish, would you sleep with Jed? No, I'd rather be a broke bitch. I'll collect some sleep. Passionate. Just phone sex. Just no. Jetty. no, you're a trying jetty. to get me to say yes to something, you dick. I know, I know the drill already. <laughs> so, so you would rather get fucked by a Jolly Rancher dildo than have phone sex? Dude, she that that excited her. Oh, that's right, Jolly Rancher dildo. I forgot about that. I think that would burn to put candy up in the snatch. Mm-hmm. Candy snatch. It would definitely be sticky. Going in. And your snatch is probably already pretty fucking sticky, so it would get real fucking <laughs> sticky up in there. And uh, then you'd have a fucking sticky mess on your hands, and you'd probably never get it out. Oh. It'd probably suck it up, and you'd end up fucking then I'd just, shitting it out. Then I would just rather die than neither option. Jed would clean it out. You know what? Uh, fucking Sounds like a good job for him, actually. You know what, J- Dirk? Because you're the you're the fucking asshole ass suggesting it. I think you're the one that kind of wants that. To have phone sex with him? Yeah, I think you do. It sounds like it. I think instead of going to a super max, yes, I would have phone sex with him. Yeah, you would oh, have wait. phone sex with him for any on any measure, though. <laughs> you're pretty easy to to smash. I mean, you he no, would no. you would let him, I, you know. Go to prison because I could just say I'm a lady and I go to a ladies' prison. I know, but you're a pretty easy lady. Anybody could smash you. And it's just... true. 
I do have a loose butthole. Yeah, I mean, man or woman, you don't care. Uh, <laughs> real quick, can we uh, have Dirk say that one more time without any kind of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you got that one. Uh, I did, I did. He I get, he's to like, add that to our Christmas everything. collection. There we go. All right, everyone, we're going to have to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Dirty Jokers. <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Jokers. Max, what would you do if you saw Bigfoot? Um, you know, I don't know. I think, I think, I think I just shit and run. How about you guys? Yeah, I would shit myself. Is, yeah. Yep. Yep. I'd well, say, oh shit, there's a Bigfoot. And... <laughs> oh shit, there's shit in my pants. Oh. Damn it. Well, folks, we'd like to thank you here, well, officially, at the Dirty Jokers. <laughs> Fucking retards over here. Keep going, Woody. I like that. Yeah. I'll tell you, we got one dumb bitch online here with us and a couple of dumbass retards. And, well, I don't know what you want to call the rest of us, but we kicked ass tonight, boys. Good job fucking proud of you and uh keep your fucking dick in your pants and if not (laughs) we'll try on her ass real quick give her a little surprise come again folks come again (laughs) and don't forget to wear your rubbers because it's raining out there i love jeds that was a fart for you thank you you're welcome anytime guys Keep it real. Dad, trim your fucking nostril hairs. All right. <laughs> Good night. Good night, man. Uh, Seeker, have a great night, and thank you to all the listeners. See ya. Uh, Dirk, I don't know. When will we see him again? Uh, you want me to see him this week? Oh, fuck, you're... Fuck. Um, I fine. Dick sometimes. I suck dick sometimes. <laughs> what? Is That's same, not my song. Uh, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh You're going to hell God. for this. You're going to hell for this. Who is? Oh. Mm. You are. Mm. No, please, no. Oh, good Lord, help me. (laughs) No, good good Lord, help me. Okay, that's not, that's not a male. Oh, yeah. Clean the oh, man, yeah, it is. Nice well, if it is, let's see. The, I think all, all, all the cities are not on the store, mm. so there. Okay. Let's get married. Oh, Maybe so privately. Right. They are. Uh, okay. All those cities are not in store. You want to see? You have to get it privately. Wrong. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's all thick. Uh, Max. Oh Fucking clean it for you. <laughs> no <laughs> CDs are not available in the store. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh okay, my I think god. The dick has no hair around. <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna burn in the deepest parts of hell with the dick in your mouth. Well, I tell you, this guy's little statue is not available in store. You should get married. <laughs> All right, oh let's go here. Wow, that was a little uh, forward. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Here I come. Like that? Ew. Yeah. Yeah, like that? Oh, take it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you really Jack, what the yeah. fuck? And sometimes I like to, uh, you know, like, <sighs> fucking harder. You know, that kind of stuff. 
What? Oh, me. Take, take, what take the that fuck? Mommy. Yeah, that felt good. Oh, Holy fuck the hell. Like, oh, yeah. I won't eat cow ever oh. again. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I just came. I think I just came inside. Oh. 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 oh yeah, like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yeah. so I'm sucking it. I'm cleaning it for you. Oh. Mm, you're nice and wet. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think we should get married. <laughs> mm.